I'm just trying to contain my excitement because today we are doing ZK Vinyl number two here at the Church of Elvis and even more Latter-day Saints, which I am the founder, pastor, spiritual advisor of. Because ZK Vinyl number one was so wildly successful, okay? Now, what I do, if you don't remember, is I go out into the dirty, filthy bins, all these god-awful places we go because we can't help it. We have such a passion for music and vinyl. But you're just like me, okay? And as being a member of this congregation, liking these videos, subscribing to these videos, okay? I know it comes at great cost. YouTube is trying to suppress this religion, okay? It's the fastest growing religion in Northwest Fulton County. Look it up, okay? So I'm just thankful for you. Now in ZK Vinyl, we go out into those dirty, filthy bins and I find records that I find interesting, but I don't know the artist, I don't know the band. The cover's unusual. And I try to guess what it sounds like by just looking at the cover, the artist, band, producer, uh, no lyrics, okay? No looking at the ear, that's cheating. Try to guess, go listen to it. Look, read fun facts and see if I was right. Now, most of the time I get all my good knowledge from the comments, from the interaction. My favorite part of doing these videos is the interaction. So I thank you for that. Now, ZK is a nod to computer programming, cryptography, zero knowledge. Okay, very important stuff. It's becoming more and more important. So it's just a nod, a salute to that. Now let's get into our first one. <sighs> Petra, beat the system. I feel like Someone's going to know everything in the world about this. I feel like I should have seen this. It's a and Records. Beat the System is the title of the album. Petra is the band. Okay. There's like a bunch of TVs and lights coming at them, but there's clouds too. That gives a lot away. Now, Petra is in Jordan. But more importantly, it's where Dr. Jones saved his father's life by finding the Holy Grail. Okay, and there's a new Indiana Jones apparently just wrapped up or coming out. And uh, I'm fingers crossed it's not garbage. But back to Petra. It's got titles like Beat the System, Clean, Voices in the Wind, God Gave Rock and Roll to You, which I'm assuming is the Kiss song. It's got a logo uh, just above the Petra. I don't know if you can see that. It's Petra, but a sword. And the light, it's being overwhelmed by the light with clouds. This has to be Christian rock, okay? Got nothing against Christian rock, but I think it's gonna be terrible because this feels 80s. It feels like, you know, you're trying to squeeze something in. Like, it's not even with the Christian aspect. It's like, you're trying to force something. You're trying to force a sound that maybe isn't working. My guess that this is not very good 80s rock, touch of synthesizers, Christian rock. Let's see. Okay, your boy got a few right on this one. A few right things on this one. Maybe it was too predictable, but it's Christian rock. Petra is from Fort Wayne, Indiana, not Petra in Jordan, which I think that's a little fraudulent. To be honest with you, you should, if you're going to be Petra, you should be from Petra, that ancient city. It's Christian rock. It's got a lot of synthesizers of the era of the 80s. All music gave it two stars. User reviews, which there were 52, gave it four and a half stars. I'm assuming either those 52 are from Petra or Fort Wayne, Indiana. They've had a lot of past members. Now, this is pretty predictable. 80s rock, slight kind of glammy vocals, but it is, it is one of the worst guitar tones I've ever heard in my life that goes through the entire album. It's like the, the tone is like the guitar player is playing in a box inside a closet, and there's no space at all in this album. If you think today's music is overproduced, listen to Petra. Maybe they have some better albums than this, but this one isn't particularly good. Although I think the keyboard player is very talented and, and, the, and the dude has a good voice, a really good voice. Um, 
I just don't think this was a particularly good era, maybe for Petra. I think I got a lot right about that. I don't, I don't recommend it, but uh, maybe there's other Petra songs out there I don't know. Petra, beat the system. I feel like there's going to be a lot of y'all who know this one, and I don't. But it just, the cover feels too Al Stewart time passages. The cover just feels too well done in some ways. It's not that I like it. It's, it's a really well done cover, the art direction. It's Monument Valley, Arizona, okay? And this dude's radio. Al's radio is causing a wrinkle in the space-time continuum. He's got some cigarettes. He's got a flower. He's got his watch. Al looks like George Harrison's younger brother, okay? And there's also a wrinkle in time at some Airbnb he's staying at. Produced by Alan Parsons. The first song is six minutes and 39 seconds, time passages. I don't, this is 80s, I think, but it also could be 70s with the, it's like prog light. The first song is Time Passages, 6 minutes and 39 seconds. That tells me that there's either a flute solo or, if it's 80s, a saxophone solo, which kind of replaced the flute in 80s prog, in my humble opinion. And some of the songs are like short pop songs, and then some are like 6 minutes and 20 seconds. So they're longer than normal pop songs. But again, this cover looks like it was expensive to do, but I can't guess if it's 70s or 80s. It feels prog, but it feels poppy, like pop rock. Not pop rock, but just poppier than normal prog. I'm gonna go listen right now. I should be probably changing the light because this is taking some time, of course. But I was way wrong on this. Well, some things I was right. First of all, I guess I should know this guy because Al Stewart is pretty famous. His first single, Time Passages, and an edited version, which is seven on the charts in the UK. All music gave it four and a half stars. Um, it's not 80s, it's late 70s. The cover is done. When I said the cover is expensive looking or really well done, it's Hypnosis, the world famous graphic design group, did this. You know, Pink Floyd, they did all the amazing albums that they've done. So I got that right. I didn't really get the music right. It's like contemporary pop. His voice is a little high. It's like if, if Dylan had a good voice, if Dylan had a good voice, he would sound like Al Stewart. Um, Time Passages did have a sax solo. I nailed that. I figured it would have been flute though in the 70s, but it's late 70s. It's like contemporary pop. It's beautifully recorded. It sounds really well. They made a mobile fidelity of this. Some of you might have this, but I just found it uh, boring, like really boring, like looking forward to the song's ending. And this might be a really popular album out there. So Al Stewart, Time Passages, I had this wrong, really, really wrong, but I had the cover right and had the sax solo right. So enjoyed not getting this one right. <laughs> What an amazing cover. Wet Willie, dripping wet, live. Again, I feel like, why have I never seen this before? This is a promo copy. This cover, this newspaper, 50s horror movie type thing going on here is absolutely amazing. These dudes are playing obviously like rock and roll, like, and it's live and Look, look at these dudes. I know dudes like this. It's on the Capricorn. It could be 70s, it could be 80s. I don't know. It's not 60s, of course. Everything's too bright and vibrant. Everything about this cover is amazing. Absolutely amazing. But here's my guess. It's just, these guys are Southern. I know, by looking at them, I know they're Southern, okay? because they have a sense of humor about this rock and roll, okay? They don't take themselves too seriously, obviously. I feel like they're Southern because a lot of Southern bands, a lot of Southern rock and roll bands have a, a humor 
a sense of humor, local ones. So I feel like they're Southern. I just have no idea what year this is from. I have no idea if this is any good or famous or whatever. Um, they're, they're not like pulling off a CCR type Southern rock. This, these guys are Southern, just looking at them. <laughs> All right, Wet Willie, Dripping Wet Live, going to listen right now. According to All Music, if you're to have one Wet Willie record, say that 10 times, this is the one, Dripping Wet Live. They are Southern, I got that right, they're from Mobile. This is recorded live in New Orleans, which makes a lot of sense considering how close Mobile is to New Orleans. This is a party band, okay? This is a house band. It's very talented. It's a lot funkier and soulful than I thought it was going to be. Red Hot Chicken is the uh, standout track, and it makes me want to have hot chicken for lunch. Hot chicken's delicious. It's, it's not something I'm going to listen to. Again, I, I had no idea how soulful it was going to be. I had no idea how funky it was going to be. If you were to compare it to like something like Blues Traveler, they would blow the doors off Blues Traveler. They couldn't even be in the same club together. Um, it's, it's, these guys are a party band, and they know what they're doing, and they have a sense of humor, and they're having a lot of fun. And even the cover, as you can tell, that these guys like to have a fun time and party. And uh, I enjoy, it played really, really well after I cleaned it. I was shocked how well it played. It sounded great. Um, I just got the year wrong. I thought this would be late 70s, early, even early 80s, mid 80s. I was wrong. 73, man. So there's probably a lot of you that know a lot about Wet Willie and maybe some of their other records. But All Music said this was the one to get. So enjoyed ZK, <laughs> enjoyed ZK Vinyl. And uh, have a good rest of the week. Take care.